there. And how about next big hand for Liz? Now she's a very polite elephant. She's going to pass off that rope to Scooter. Good job. That nose is really, 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 really strong. She's going to show you that because she's going to push this log all the way to that log pile over there. And again, if she does it, she loves the applause. She's a real hand for it. Now she's going to get her head down all the way to the ground. Get the most leverage she can. And give it a big push. Awesome job. <laughs> so how many muscles and tendons do you think are in an elephant's nose? Someone shout something out. Yeah? 20? 40? 50? Over 40,000. Some people say as many as 100,000. Anyway, so obviously very, very strong appendage, but it's very, very dexterous. She can pick up something as small as a dime or a blade of grass off a flat surface. Now you may see with Valerie up there on the end of her nose, she has two little fingers just like that. Liz, an Asian elephant though, she only has one. You can see that just right there. Now another cool thing about the elephants is their teeth. So Nick's gonna open up that mouth. You can kind of see, you guys right there might be able to see this. Right in the back they see teeth. They have four teeth, they get six sets of them. This is a model of one of them, but all you're gonna see above the gum line is this surface right here. Obviously made for grinding down out. vegetation. Mm -hmm. Now they don't lose this as one whole tooth when they get the new set in because that would leave this gigantic hole, you know. Can you imagine how that would feel? Eating some straw and it gets stuck down in there. What happens is the front of the tooth just chips off and breaks off in plates, and the rest of the tooth grows in behind it. So they always have a tooth there. Weigh about 10 pounds. Now next, I'm gonna show you how man works with elephant in Asia, which is actually called the mahout. <coughs> Excuse me. And he's gonna get it up top of her head with the elephant elevator. There he goes. Have a nice big hand for Nick for not falling off. Now it's gonna be moving this other log over here. It's small, but it still weighs a lot. It'd be kind of interesting for you guys to see how Liz actually moves this. The cool thing about using elephants in the logging industry in Asia is because of the trees. Those trees, the mahogany and teak, they might be one tree in up to 10 square miles of forest. And if you use a tractor, you've got to build a road in there, which means you've got to knock down other trees, kind of hit a big mess. But with an elephant, you just walk in and out of the trees, don't need to build a road. You don't need any gasoline or oil, so there's no pollution. <laughs> And she fertilizes the forest as she goes, right? <laughs> Food's right there. Now she's just using the upper pressure of her upper lip and bottom lip right to lift this log. And she's gonna place it on top of the log pile, but she wants to be very, very careful. So these logs weigh thousands of pounds and she doesn't want them rolling down her feet. So she'll get there, she'll kind of get it in place and see if she very, very, very carefully 